Audacity Tutorial How to Add Reverb the Easy Way, the Right Way from Marcus Unlimited Step 1. Open Audacity and create or import the sound file you wish to work with. Step 2. At the very end of the sound file, generate a few seconds of silence as the reverb, much like a realistic room or hall in an acoustic setting, will add additional time to the original sound. In the top menu bar, select Generate, followed by Silence. Then enter your desired time of silence in seconds and click Generate Silence. Step 3. Now here is the step that many are not aware of. This is the secret to adding reverb the way it was originally intended to be added in Audacity. Step 4. Duplicate your selected audio track by either pressing Ctrl D on a Windows PC or by going to the Edit menu and choosing Duplicate. Step 5. We are going to leave your original audio track unaffected and apply the reverb to only the duplicate track. Step 6. Select the entire duplicate of your source track by clicking in any open space on the left pane of its track window. Step 7. With your duplicate track selected and thus fully highlighted with a darker gray-blue color, go to the Effect menu at the top of your screen and choose the effect G-Verb. Step 8. For now, leave all of the G-Verb's default settings in place and click OK. Step 9. Now, by simply adjusting the volume of the duplicate track, you are creating the amount of reverb that will be heard of the original track in your final mix down. Step 10. When you are happy with your amount of applied reverb, simply choose File and Export and send out either a .wav file or a .mp3 file to your desired location. Step 11. A dialog box may pop up warning you that the file you are about to create will be a mix down of all your tracks. That actually is exactly what you want at this point, as your actual Audacity project file, the screen we were working in to edit and apply reverb to our sounds to, should be saved as its own Audacity project file separately at your discretion. Here are three example sound files created through this tutorial. A our original source sound without reverb, often referred to as a dry track. B. A 50-50 mix of the dry audio track and the reverberated duplicate, aka the wet track. C. And finally a 90% wet 10% dry version of our duplicate and source sounds. May this tutorial serve you well in your recordings. Additional sources relative to this tutorial include Audacity, the free audio editor and recorder available at http colon forward slash forward slash audacity dot sourceforge dot net. Additionally, I hereby personally invite you to subscribe to our official YouTube channel entitled Marcus Unlimited. Thank you.